Getting Started, How Video Games Are Made, Production. Production is the main and longest stage of game development at which point the game is actually developed. In a professional environment, this is the phase where new staff and team members are hired for the various roles and new positions. The production phase is focused on content, asset, and code creation, as well as implementing content and completing the various tasks needed in a game's development. One of the most challenging aspects during this phase is balancing creativity with time management. Creating a game in an environment or team that can have fun, be creative and experimental while staying on track is quite challenging. However, achieving this balance is how great games are made. The game production phase can be best summed up into these five categories, vertical slice, pre-alpha, alpha, beta, and gold. Vertical Slice A vertical slice is a section of the game, perhaps 5 to 30 minutes, that is representative of what the final game will look, sound, and play like. The vertical slice is an industry-wide practice, especially when it comes to large-scale game projects. For many large developers, its main purpose is to be used as a pitch when talking to studio heads to help them decide whether the game gets funded or not. However, even if you have no desire to find a publisher or additional funding, a vertical slice is a great tool to begin early testing and marketing of your project. Additionally, creating a small finalized portion of the game will help you or your team better gauge how long the game's development time will be which in turn will help you not only set a more realistic release date, but also help when creating deadlines and milestones during the production phase. Pre-alpha. In game development, pre-alpha refers to all activities performed during the game's development, but before official testing. This stage is where the majority of the content gets made. It's at this point where the artists create the characters and environments, animators bring the characters and creatures to life with movement, designers lay out the map and levels, and the programmers bring it all together by scripting all the functions, events, and interactions. During this stage, it's important to keep in mind that you should work on all the most important core game elements first. Typically, things will have to be cut during a game's development due to a variety of circumstances, but the most common ones are time and suitability. In the case of time, it's pretty straightforward, though in a professional environment, oftentimes, it's time versus impact rather than not having enough time to finish or implement something. So essentially it boils down to, is this worth spending your time on, or rather, will not having this impact the game or the player's experience in a negative way? And if the answer is no, is your time better spent on something that will impact the game or the player? Content cut for suitability reasons usually refers to stuff that just didn't fit well with the finalized state of the game. Oftentimes, the game you or your team started out to make isn't quite the game you end up with. This can happen for a number of reasons, and oftentimes the end result is far better than originally conceptualized. That being said, sometimes older or current assets or functions no longer fit, work well, or turn out to be just not fun so they no longer suit the game in its current state. Alpha The alpha phase begins when the game is feature complete. At this point, the game is fully playable from start to finish, for the most part. However, during this phase, it's common to have a few missing components as well as art assets in place that aren't finalized. But the controls, functionality, and interface should be in a finalized state. The alpha stage is about finishing and polishing the game rather than building or creating additional content. In a professional environment, it's about testing and reaching the release date at this point, so if any feature or function needs to be dropped or minimized in order to do so, it would be at this stage. During Alpha, the testing or QA department is in charge of ensuring each game mode, mechanic, function, and performance work properly, and record any inconsistencies, malfunctions, performance issues, or errors in a bug sheet or bug database. Beta. After the game has passed the alpha phase, it enters the beta phase. During this phase, the focus is on fixing bugs and the game is considered content complete. All assets are integrated into the game and the entire production process ceases. The goal during beta is to stabilize and optimize the project if need be and eliminate as many bugs as possible before the game is launched. 
At this point, it's best to prioritize the bugs from high to low, with high being game-breaking or quality-offending, and low being minor annoyances or small bugs that are extremely hard to replicate. In the beta phase, stability is your main goal. Gold. Once the game has passed the beta phase, it is considered gold. This is the point where all your weeks, months, or years of hard work are paid off. At this point, the final game is sent to be tested by your publishing outlet. And if it's found to be acceptable, it's released to the public. In the past, this would be the point where you and your team go into post-production and have a chance to relax and enjoy the fruits of your labor for a bit, before you start on your next project. However, now in many studios, members of the team will transition to working on bonus or downloadable content, game patches, or other projects in development. Irregardless, once you get to this point, you've officially released a game, which is a major accomplishment all in itself.